Hector, Cara Elijald, a middle-aged regular guy, and his wife Clara, Candela Fernandez, have recently moved into a lonely house. They live a peaceful existence. He receives a call, but the other party says nothing. When Hector attempts to reach them again, no one picks up. Later, when Hector scans the woods with his binoculars, he spots what appears to be a naked girl. His wife suddenly interferes and asks for the car keys. When the conversation overs, he scans back through his binoculars, but the girl vanished. Curious, he makes the decision to travel there in the hopes of seeing the girl. He can see her clothes in the woods, but the girl is not there. When he moves further in the woods, he is able to see Barbara Gonaga, the same girl, laying on a rock. He clumsily lands next to the girl and discovers she has passed away. Suddenly, Hector gets stabbed in the arm with some scissors by an unidentified man, and he runs away. When he examines through his binoculars, he sees the man, who has a pink bandage covering his disfigured face. Hector enters a home close to the forest as a chase begins. In the house, there is odd machinery and formulae written on some blackboards. He strikes up a conversation with someone in a nearby building, and they agree to contact him right away. The second man claims that the person approaching him had a bandaged face. The voice directs him through a route in the grass that is lit up by numerous lights to the other structure. El Joven, Nacho Vigalando, takes him inside, but the door cannot be locked, according to him. When Hector notices more equipment, he asks aloud what it is all for. This is actually the time machine. Hector can see the car, which is being driven by the man with the bandaged face, via the window. The man informs Hector that he will also join him in this machine, but as soon as the man lowers the hatch, Hector is forced to stay inside all alone. He goes back in time for an hour. El Joven, the young guy in command of the time machine, is unfamiliar with Hector. Through his binoculars, Hector sees himself and his wife at his home. The man informs him that he went back in time, and so he is able to see his reflection in his own house. Hector, Hector 2, is told by the young guy that he must not impede the other Hector, Hector 1, so that he might enter the time machine once more, leaving only one Hector instead of two. Hector is compelled to call his family because he is concerned that Clara is with a different man. He doesn't dare to speak, though. Hector 2 gets the boot from El Hoven, but everything else went according to plan. Hector 2 makes an effort to resist the urge to call his wife once more. Hector 2 takes the young man's car and departs. When Hector 2 sees the young woman riding her bike to the next village, he pauses and examines her. Suddenly, a red van crashes into his car, injuring his face severely. Hector 2 uses the bandages on his injured arm to wrap it around his injured face. We get the idea that the man with the injured face was actually Hector himself. The bandage prevents the bleeding, but the blood causes it to turn pink. The young woman asks him if he's okay and says she'll call an ambulance. Hector 2 doesn't want her to go even though her phone doesn't have service. She correctly positions the bandage on Hector 2 and is a hairdresser. Hector 2 takes the girl's scissors before asking her for assistance. Hector 1 is observed by Hector 2 using the binoculars. When Hector 1 starts running toward the time machine, Hector 2 realizes he must stab him. Hector 2 chases the girl as she flees. Her moves that Hector 1 observed are repeated by Hector 2. When Hector 2 notices Clara touching Hector 1, he demands that she remove her pants. They both tumble down an unlevel hill in the woods as he runs after her. It appears that the girl is deceased. She is completely undressed by Hector 2 before being left for dead. Hector 2 approaches Hector 1 and stabs him before pursuing him while acting in the manner he did earlier. When he hears a scream, a female voice, Hector 2 stops to take a deep breath and collect himself. Returning to his own house, Hector 2 hears unusual music playing, answers the phone, and is attacked by someone who swings a wooden table in his direction. Hector 2 steals his wife's vehicle and pursues Hector 1 along the light path. Returning to the time machine, Hector 2 asks the boy to send him back in time so that he can change into Hector 3, a few seconds earlier than before. When the young man eventually agrees, Hector 3 threatens him. In order for Hector 2 to turn into the man with the pink bandage and pursue Hector 1, he then strikes Hector 2 with the young man's orange truck. Hector 3 then has an automobile accident. She was already fleeing from Hector 2 when he saw the young girl, which terrified her. According to Hector 3, he is also eluding the man wearing bandages. After a brief nap, the girl drives Hector 3 to his house, which she doesn't know is his because it's the only inhabited location in the area. 
They enter the house despite Hector III's advice that it is not a smart idea. The girl departs once Hector III has been left. Clara notices the deformed face of Hector III. Clara claims to have called the police already. In an effort to prevent Clara's demise, Hector III tries to conceal her within a room. While bandaged Hector II is climbing the stairs, he also positions the ladder such that it may be used to enter the house through the window on the top floor. After being hit by a wooden table thrown by Hector III, Hector II tumbles down the stairs. To make Hector II believe the girl is his wife, Hector III gives her a crimson cloak and trims her hair. The girl runs outside and falls to the ground from the roof. While Hector III had persuaded Clara to stay with him, the girl passed away in place of Hector's wife. Hector III and his wife are shown waiting for the cops at the end of the movie. The police sirens can be heard rising louder and louder as Hector II drives off. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just meant to be